We don't have an immune system? Of course we do. That's just simply and demonstrably wrong. There we have, you know, a hundred years of science showing us that we, in fact, do have an immune system. The lymphatic system is part of the immune system, but it is not the entirety of the immune system. What is the lymphatic system? It's basically the, the you know, the channels, the, the uh, you know, the, the ways in which the body drains fluid from the tissues into, you know, your blood so that it gets removed and into the, in, the intestine so that it gets removed, right? It goes filtered out through the kidney, filtered out through the GI system. Otherwise, fluid would build up in the tissues. And in fact, people who have impaired lymphatic drainage get what we call lymphedema. They get edema or swelling. The tissue builds up, water, you know, fluids build up in the tissues. Now, because it is draining fluid from the tissues, it's a good opportunity, you know, evolutionarily speaking, to one, get rid of toxins. It's one of the ways in which our body rids itself of toxins. But also, it's a good way, since a lot of bacteria and viruses are also being drained through lymph, it's a good way to expose the immune system to invading organisms like bacteria and viruses. So we have lymph nodes, right? Lymph nodes where we have a lot of T cells, for example, which are part of the immune system. And uh, that, uh, so therefore that's how you have the connection between the immune system and the, and the lymphatic system. The notion that there is no immune system is utter demonstrable nonsense. Don't believe it. Why would they say that? Because they're hawking some alternative nonsense. And so they have to, you know, they have this conspiracy theory about how all doctors are wrong and lying to you for some reason, which makes no sense. Um, so, and someone even in the comments to that video asked, well, then how do we have autoimmune diseases if there's no immune system? Which is a great question. Um, the answer is because we do have an immune system. That's why there could be diseases of the immune system itself. And the, you know, the, the, the creator says, well, that's because it's all parasitic infections. It's like, oh, okay. So somehow you've discovered that decades and decades of scientific research around the world looking into great detail about the functioning of the immune system and the ways in which the immune system could go awry, causing a whole, a whole host of autoimmune diseases. These thousands of studies that have been done by thousands of scientists over decades, it's all wrong. And you've discovered that it's all parasitic infections, that some, based upon no published studies, no science whatsoever, I guess you just must intuitively know this, and then in, in, with, you are not able to provide any evidence to support that absolutely extraordinary claim. And somehow the parasites have been missed by medical science for decades, these magical parasites that you, that you made up. Why is that the case? It's not as if there aren't real par parasites, right? There are, and we treat them. Parasitic disease is a thing that physicians treat. So then why would they be in denial about only these magical parasites that somehow are act the actual true cause of all autoimmune diseases? Um, so this is just a nonsensical belief system that is very conspiracy-oriented uh, and is just meant to dismiss mainstream medicine so that she could sell her alternative BS. Don't believe it for a moment. You know, again, look it up. This information is pretty much freely available, freely available. Of course, there is an immune system.